Welcome to another Sailfish OS podcast and in this podcast I want to show you a new Sailfish OS device not an official device but an ported device and the last time I had the chance to play with a ported device it was basically the Nexus 5 and I wanted to wait with a review or some kind of preview of the device itself until the image on it becomes a little bit more stable but this time around I don't want to do this because the Nexus 5 you might have heard died on me so I cannot show you this anymore but in uh, this little video let me grab it I got the Moto X2 or the second generation the 2014 version of the Moto X here in my hands and uh, this run uh, this one runs pretty nicely Sailfish OS from the Verdundi team so Porter team which uh, basically created the port for the Moto X and has some other nice ports available so if you're interested in this little video stay tuned I will show you more so let's go to the device itself as you can see here I have it in my hands it's a nice device with a nice back end so you can have uh, a bamboo uh, wood back end as you can see here so a nice uh, pretty nice for a device uh, that is uh, now uh, four years old 2014 is the release date of this device and yeah it looks pretty nice has a nice rounded shape on the back as you can see here <laughs> and uh, yeah let's go to the detailed camera and I will show you a little bit more of the device itself uh, as you can see here the device has of course front speaking uh, front speaking no front speaking speakers front facing speakers uh, this is the earpiece this is the loudspeaker this is the only loudspeaker I'm not be, I was not able to get the front uh, facing uh, earpiece uh, to work as a speaker uh, right now but there are some quirks and the Vadandi team uh, or some of them have told me they are looking into it so it might be able to have dual speakers just like on the Xperia X device for example then there are four sensors with a blue point I'm not sure what they are for because uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they what they do. Maybe they are for detecting uh, a hand uh, trying to grab the phone and then turning on the display, just like on the always on display on Android. Maybe I'm not so sure, but uh, they look nice and symmetrical, uh, as you can see here. And yeah, the cool thing about the display is that it is uh, 2.5D. No, oh, not so much, but it has a rounded. Uh, display edge here so if you want to do swipe gestures it is really nice to use and really nice to do on this device without any effort let's compare the device with the Xperia X and you will see that both are pretty much uh, 5 inch devices this is 5.2 this is 5 inch but you can see the Xperia X is uh, slightly a bit taller than the um, Moto X2 and uh, the Moto X2 in comparison then is a little bit uh, wider as you can see here it's uh, a few millimeters wider as you might see here uh, this is of course because it has a 5.2 inch uh, display and it's a little bit wider than the uh, taller-ish uh, Xperia X uh, device itself and it has less bezels as you can see on the side maybe not but top and bottom less bezels and the nice thing about the device is the bamboo uh, back here because not all of those devices have bamboo backs but uh, it's pretty nice and feels solid and uh, yeah especially also for sweaty hands of course in, uh, in the beginning summer or something like this uh, you can see the 16 I think it's 16 megapixel or 13 megapixel camera here with two LED flash uh, this is just the Motorola logo here uh, so not a fingerprint reader or something like this and yeah pretty solid design you can see of course for device uh, of 2014 it has a headphone jack here uh, which is pretty nice and the sim tray here for nano sims only nano sims there's no possibility to just simply insert uh, micro SD cards or something like this so you have to stick with the 16 gigabytes of uh, memory internal memory on this device there I think are some variants with a uh, little bit more gigabytes just, just like 32 gigabytes and so on uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, full HD display 5.2 inch and of course it has also a Snapdragon 801 processor for cores 
and runs pretty fine and pretty fast. And now what we have all been waiting for, of course, is Safish S on this device. And let's turn it on and you can see the nice animations and your nice wallpaper. And this is the website of the Verdandi team or the XDA forum entry of the Verdandi team about the Moto X2. So you can go onto this website and find all the information of what is working and what is not working as well as an, a nice instruction, a nice uh, short little instruction on how to install it. As you can see here, download CM13 base, download rootfs for Savage S, uh, flush the Yola boot logo as well because they have a nice little boot, boot logo um, uh, telling you that Savage S is running now on the device um, instead of uh, uh, telling you that the bootloader is unlocked, <laughs> which is, I think, a nice uh, thing. So basically, to install this uh, ROM, you basically, or this SafeJS version, you have to do the same as for the Xperia uh, X device, unlock the bootloader, install CM13 in this case, and then install uh, the SafeJS system with Twerp. You can do this pretty easily. And uh, if you ever installed a ROM onto this device or any Android device, it should be pretty straightforward. I'm not giving you an instruction on how to do this right now. You can read it. There are pretty much a very uh, a broad range of uh, posts about how to do this. So let's go to the important parts. Just like, for example, warning, you have to need to uh, have at least Android 4.5 installed on the device otherwise it will not boot so keep in mind to upgrade to android 5.1 at least uh, so that it will work otherwise not working bluetooth which is not true because i can now uh, let me turn on my uh, bluetooth uh, keyboard here i think i have bluetooth enabled on the device itself let's see yeah it's enabled um, and as you can see i can scroll without any issues um, with my Bluetooth keyboard, so we just uh, see if you can get both in the picture. So it's pretty, work, pretty pretty nice working. But what's not working with Bluetooth is uh, the stable connection to a uh, headphone or a Bluetooth speaker or something like this. This is not working. Video recording is not working. You can of course uh, go into the camera app and snap photos. Just like, for example, I snapped a photo of my R2D2 here without any issues. As you can see here, pretty sharp as well. So the uh, uh, camera works pretty nice. Not for video recording. If you go to video recording, bail out of this mode again. Don't press the record button, otherwise the image will freeze. And later on, I think the system might be freezing as well. So this is for the camera. And then, of course, uh, the microphone is not working when you get a call, which is pretty much uh, not usable as a phone then you might think, but that's not true at all. You can enable the loudspeaker mode as soon as you get a call or you initiate a call and then the microphone is working pretty nice and fine. Um, and of course you have the option to use the headphone jack as well uh, with a headphone and then you can uh, take and uh, uh, make calls uh, as well. And yeah, it's working pretty nice, as you can see here, uh, very fluid without any issues. Let's go and check the temperatures as you get, as you see here, we will get pretty nice warm temperatures. Uh, spring is coming. Uh, you can also see Twitter tweets are working. It's working very fluidly without any issues or lags or something like this. I can open up the web browser, something about Formula One here. And you can see that also the native web browser is working. Uh, open up the Twitter tweet here. And uh, yeah, pretty uh, 1968 uh, TV announcement of Formula One. So it's working pretty much everything that I want, want it to work works. Just like for example, you can go to 9gag and uh, take a look at funny stuff here or or pretty ladies here so as you can see here it's working just fine and very smoothly then of course video playback also something very important is working without any issues uh, let me go to for example this trailer here and uh, this is 720 trailer in this case the front facing speakers 
are very loud, or the front-facing speaker here is very loud. So it's working pretty nicely, as you can see here. So very nice. Uh, let's go to play back some uh, music, some uh, free music, of course, Creative Commons music, just like for example. Uh, where do we have it? Nice music. So you might hear it in the background, if you're hearing my voice or not, I'm not sure. It's getting pretty loud, so it's a pretty loud speaker and uh, you can get pretty good sound out of it. Of course also that phone jack that I showed you uh, produces very good uh, sound. So sound is working as well, as you can see here multitasking, no issue, no problem whatsoever uh, when it comes to uh, the two gigabytes of RAM running in here without any issues and uh, yeah battery time battery lock you've seen my battery here 17 percent and you can see that 11 hours uh, remaining and if it is uh, fully charged two days and 13 hours uh, I'm not so sure if this is true but two days is usually what you can get out of it and as you can see here I have 4G enabled so I have a sim card in here uh, to taking for taking calls and so on. I have Bluetooth enabled and it's still showing me 11 hours. So it's a pretty good battery life that you can get out of, out of here. Of course you need to have an, uh, back, a black background uh, for that uh, matter to improve the battery life a little bit more because it's an AMOLED screen and AMOLEDs like black backgrounds because then you can turn off most of the screen. Let me go to the, not contacts, let me go to the gallery. And I want to show you some of the nice uh, backgrounds that we have here. This is the one that I'm currently using uh, with the Moto X logo. There's Tron logo, there's the Stones, the X logo, and this, and this, and Batman, of course. And of course, you have also the option to switch to Batman, for example, which is also a pretty nice um, ambience. So by default what I've done is going to UI theme and then change the pixel ratio because the default pixel ratio uh, is set to 1.6 and I like 1.85 a little bit more uh, but it depends on your likings maybe you can stick to 1.6 as well if you like that uh, it ships with 1.6 by default I have set it to 1.8 here yeah, basically a nice, uh, pretty working port of Safish OS on, uh, on a device, on another device, just like here, without official support, but it's running very smoothly and I can use it, I can think, I think I can use it as a daily driver at least. We're not so much for phone calling, but as a daily driver with my 4G card, when I'm going around the city or something like this, and want to have a fast internet connection, I think I will stick to this here. Uh, which is a nice device for surfing, a nice device for doing stuff and of course there's no Android support but I don't need Android support that much even on my Xperia X device I only have I think two or three Android apps that I use regularly and I can I think live without Android as well and yeah pretty nice pretty good work by the Vedanti team for the Moto X uh, too if you have questions just uh, ask me down below uh, of course I will put the guide to the XDA thread on how to install or what you have to download uh, on the bottom as well and uh, of course you can uh, give it a like if you like this video if you have questions ask them down below I will try to answer those um, uh, you can of course ask the Vedanti team directly and I think they will answer as well. Yeah, this is everything for this little video demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye. Yeah, pretty nice device, I would say. The only thing is, it's a little bit older, so you can see, maybe you can see that the color, there's a color going on uh, on a white screen, you can see it, I think, better. And it's not from the website itself, it's a color shift here on the top. It's an older device, 2014, it's still working and rocking can upgrade your device that's in the drawer maybe to a nice little secure and fast and open source mostly open source operating system for free wow what exciting times you're living on